Hello there, and welcome back. What we're going to do in this video is solve a 3x3 three three system using Gaussian elimination. Three variables, three equations. So as you can see, I've already written the augmented matrix below the system. That's right here. And the goal for Gaussian elimination is to have the augmented matrix through row operations have the form ones on the main diagonal, zeros below the ones, and all the other numbers could end up being anything. We just know that we stop once we have the ones and zeros where we want them. So first thing we look for is that one in the upper left hand corner and it's there, so that's great. Now we perform row operations to get the zeros below the one. So using that first equation, we're gonna take negative two times the first row, add it to the second row, to make a new second row, okay? And then for the third row, we're gonna take the opposite of the first row, add it to the third row to make a new third row. So basically, we multiply the row we're not changing by a number and add it to the row that we're changing to make the new row that we're changing. Okay, so negative two row one, I'm gonna write that here. Negative two row one is negative two, negative two, negative two, followed by an augment, and then negative 26. And then row two is two, negative one, one, 15. So adding those together, we have zero, negative three, negative one, negative 11. Okay, and I'm gonna let that be for now. Now negative row one plus R three. So negative row one is negatives all across. Negative one, negative one, negative one, negative 13. And row three is one, negative three, four, 20. Add those together. We have zero, negative four, three, seven. Okay, so our new matrix, I'm just gonna draw an arrow here, our new matrix. So the first row untouched, new row two, and new row three. Okay. So now first column is completely done. So now I move to the second column and I want a one where that negative three is. Now I can't interchange it with the first row because then I lose the zero where I want it. So the first row is pretty much done at this point. We're never gonna touch the first row again. So I, look, I compare it to the third row and the third row has a negative four, that's not any better. So our only option to make that into a one is to multiply the second row by negative one third, which remember is just like multiplying both sides of an equation by negative one third. So we know it's completely valid. So I'm gonna take negative one third R2 and make that my new R2. So first row stays the same. Now with my second row, that's gonna be zero, one, one third, 11 thirds. I know fractions are usually not desirable, but it's not too bad at this point. Okay, so there's our new matrix after that row is multiplied. Now we need to get a zero there using R2. So if I'm working in the second column, I'm doing all row operations based on the second row. So I'm gonna take four times the second row add it to the third row and that's going to give me a new third row so let's see how that plays out there so four times the second row is zero four four thirds followed by the augment and then 44 thirds i'm not liking these numbers are three zero negative four three and seven let's see what happens when we add them up so you have zero zero 
Now 4 thirds plus 3 is 4 thirds plus 9 thirds. So that's 13 thirds. 44 thirds plus 7 is 44 thirds plus 21 thirds. So 44 and 21 is 65. So that's 65 thirds. That looks promising. I know 13 goes into 65. So new matrix again first two rows untouched and then new third row zero zero 13 thirds 65 thirds and now to get that one where we want it we're going to multiply the third row by the reciprocal of 13 thirds which is 3 thirteenths. So 3 thirteenths row 3 becomes the new row 3. And then I think we're home free. So again, 1, 1, 1, 13, 0, 1, 1 third, 11 thirds, 0, 0, 1, 65 thirds times 3 thirteenths is 5. So this is good news. So here's our system at this point. So at this point, we translate it back to a system and solve from there. So you have X plus Y plus Z equals 13. We have Y plus one third Z equals 11 thirds. And we have Z equals five. So great, we know one of the variables. So now we take Z equals five, substitute it in the equation right above it because we're gonna be able to find Y. And then once we find y and z, we plug into the first equation to find x. That's what makes this method so useful, is that you start with knowing one variable, then you pick up another one, then you pick up another one. So y plus 1 third times 5 equals 11 thirds. So you have y plus 5 thirds equals 11 thirds. Well, that means y is equal to 6 thirds, which is 2. So this is good news. And now we have x plus y plus z equals 13. So you have x plus 2 plus 5 equals 13. That's x plus 7 equals 13, which means x equals 6. So there's our solution. If we write it in ordered pair form, that is 6, 2, 5. And there is our solution to this system using Gaussian elimination.